Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the latest wheel merges on aircraft. But this only works for F1 wheels and liveries and not Benny's wheels. So there are some aircraft that can actually carry liveries, especially the hidden ones. And I have left the list down below as to which aircraft can carry hidden liveries. Now before I move on, just a quick message over here. If you intend to purchase anything or any services from extramods.com, I have code for you right here that will give you 5% off. You don't have to buy if you don't want to, but just remember this coupon code when you do. So moving on to requirements, you will need a full CEO garage. It can be any one of the three garages, it doesn't matter. What is important is that it must be full. And in order to do this glitch, you will need the facility. And in the facility, you will need an Avenger and the Avenger will need to have a vehicle workshop. Depending on whether you want F1 wheels or liveries on your aircraft, just make sure that you have the appropriate vehicle, F1 car for F1 wheels, and a Maxwell Vagrant for liveries. Also note that the facility garage needs to be full. Once you have all the requirements, it's time to move on to the glitch. So I'm going to put F1 wheels on my Savage helicopter that you just saw. So my first step will be to get into the F1 car. Once you're in, just press Q to access the Avenger with this vehicle. When the menu comes up, just buy something inexpensive like a paint job and then exit the Avenger. Once you're outside, just get into your vehicle again and drive it out of the facility. Once you're outside, just exit your vehicle, open up your interaction menu and then return the vehicle to storage. Next, pull up your phone, call your mechanic and get him to deliver any car from any normal garage. Preferably not the facility or the CEO garage. And once this vehicle arrives, just get into the vehicle and drive it into the facility. If you receive an alert message that says replace a vehicle, go on ahead and accept that. Once inside the facility, just choose any vehicle to replace, as long as it's not your donor vehicle. Next, go towards your donor vehicle, and in my case, it's still an F1 car. Press F to enter, and then press Q to enter the Avenger again. This time round, you will spawn in the Avenger on foot. Just go towards the cockpit, and then select Enter Cockpit. Your screen will flash once and then just wait a few seconds for the game to kick you out of the Avenger and out of the facility. So during this step, you don't need to do anything. No button smashing, no pressing of anything at all. It's just sitting back and waiting. Once you're outside on the map, you can open up your interaction menu and then request for the aircraft that you're going to have your wheels or liveries on. So in my case, I'm using the Savage. Once you see that the aircraft has spawned on the map, you can start making your way towards your CEO office. So you can't do a job teleport as it will break the glitch. You can't use any other form of personal vehicle as well because it will break the glitch. So my recommendation is to use a CEO Buzzard or a Kasatka Sparrow. If you're not rushing for time, you can actually grab a streetcar and drive there. So once you're at your CEO office, all you have to do is just to grab any normal streetcar and drive it into your full CEO garage. Once you've selected your full garage, just accept the alert, sit back and wait, you do not have to press anything, and the game will teleport you back to the facility. Now back in the facility, just run towards your donor car, press F to enter, and then press E to access the facility vehicle workshop. So if you're doing F1 wheels or liveries, you can immediately buy whatever you need, and they will transfer over to your target aircraft. Again, just a reminder that these steps do not work for Benny's wheels. Once you're done with the purchases, you can exit the vehicle, and the glitch is already done. So it's time to show you those F1 wheels on my Savage, but I'm just going to do a quick teleport into the city so that I can have the aircraft spawn just a little closer. And once I get within city limits, what I'll be doing is I'm going to go to creator mode and then back into an invite-only session, just to show that these merges or transfers 
still stick after you have changed sessions or logged out. Now depending on how fast you do these glitches, you may experience some cooldowns. During the times when you need to call a vehicle, there's no way around it, you just wait until the cooldown expires. And here is my Savage Helicopter, and you can see that those F1 wheels are still there, and they will still stick even when you go offline. So in my next few videos, provided this does not get patched, I will be showing other specific variations on how to do other merges, and those variations are just a little bit trickier to handle. Like in this case, your Benny's vehicle cannot be a proxy for the aircraft, because there is a risk that you cannot call out the aircraft ever again which means your aircraft will be stuck as a car in your hangar and it will be invisible, you can't even get into it. I know there are ways of pushing this and that, but if you are new to glitches and you don't know what you are doing, I wouldn't recommend that to you, as that would confuse you even more. If anyone recommends anything to you, just make sure that they give you the exact steps. So that's it for this video, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.